we're going to meet the challenge of adapting to climate change in the future, making our urban areas future-proofed, we need to change the way we drain. So by implementing a national retrofitting strategy, we can have a win-win-win situation. We can improve the places where people live, get more wildlife in urban areas and make safer places and manage the rainfall that is coming from the sky more unpredictably now that we have climate change. Retrofitting is critically important to safeguard people and national infrastructure. The rain that falls from the sky is not falling on future buildings, it's falling on the infrastructure we have now, you know, the roads, the schools, the hospitals, the houses, the industrial stuff. This is why we need to address uh, very urgently a national retrofitting strategy um, because the people who are being flooded now um, are suffering. The people who are suffering from droughts, uh, who have no wildlife, they're living poorer quality lives. So a retrofitting strategy uh, would meet not only, you know, um, building flood resilience, but it could help restore nature in urban areas, connecting urban areas to rural areas so wildlife can move in throughout and without, and the wellbeing benefits are enormous. So let's be reasonable about this and say you know we, we could do all of the, the all of the stuff you know if we spent a lot of money put carry on putting pipes underground but actually we miss out on a load of other stuff and suds is really efficient and effective at delivering and optimizing all those other benefits i think to approach our daily working lives where we are um for instance, digging up roads to, to uh, make them safer, to resurface them, whatever, or putting pipes in for water. It's work together to identify the opportunities for suds retrofitting in those moments where we have our workforce um, and our planners are already working to do the functions that they're doing. Incorporate suds into the solutions at that time. And actually, you can incrementally retrofit. You don't necessarily, as a local authority, have to spend lots but you can weave it in. So when you've got your annual highways maintenance plan, for example, from now going forwards, how about looking at the opportunities for sustainable drainage of roads and pavements at the same time that you're doing your maintenance plan? I think thinking about those coherent approaches to the, the management that local authorities are required to undertake, think about SUDS, think about those multiple benefits and think about the end user, the residents, uh, who will be um, overjoyed to live in better places and feel more resilient and future-proofed uh, regarding the future and climate change. Mm -hmm.